Hey guys and welcome back. Ron here from Best Tool Upgrades providing you with another instructional video in terms of how to use our uh, Best Tool Upgrades Blast Cabinet Upgrade Kit. We explain how to adjust this metering valve in the instructions that we supply with each of our kits but we thought it would be helpful for everyone if we just shot a short video because the adjustment of this air bleed valve is crucial to balancing your system. So what we've recreated here is essentially all of the parts that come with the kit. And obviously we've mocked them up with very, very short hoses. I decided not to do this at the actual blast cabinet because we would just be moving the camera up and down and up and down and up and down and we'd be getting everybody uh, nauseous. So we just thought that doing this uh, mock-up would just be a simpler way to show you how to go through the process. So let's begin with what we have here. The only thing that doesn't come with the kit that I'm showing here is this hose. This hose is an extension of the hose that is coming from your air compressor. We do supply actually two different fittings. This is the air regulator. On the air regulator, it's marked in for the air coming into the regulator, out from the regulator. From the regulator, we have it marked in going into the foot valve, out from the foot valve. As it leaves the foot valve, the hose passes through a grommet, which is in the wall of your cabinet, and then to the orifice of the gun. We supply all of these parts, and so that's the air side. The media side, here is one of the three different styles of metering valves that we supply. This happens to be our best uh, metering valve. It's the high flow metering valve. And we've got another video we'll put down uh, below that describes the three different uh, kinds of valves that we sell. But they're all identical for the purposes of adjusting the air bleed valve. So this valve gets placed into the hopper door. This takes a one and a quarter inch hole. We've described how you put this in previously. All of these parts come with it. The media gets sucked in. This is a uh, vacuum system, a negative pressure suction system. The media will come up the media hose. Again, this is a very, very short hose for demonstration purposes. Here's the grommet that the hose goes through to have this on the inside of the, uh, of the cabinet, of course, just like this hose goes to the inside of the cabinet. And this comes up delivering media into the body of the gun. And then ultimately the media is spraying out the nozzle. So how do you set this, this valve up? What we've seen is that most guys are putting much too much pressure to the system. They're trying to blast at 80 pounds, 90 pounds, even 100 or over 100 pounds PSI. That's much too much pressure. In general, the sweet spot is between 40, 45 pounds on the low side and roughly 60, 65 pounds PSI on the high side. So the first thing that we want you to do to adjust this is to determine the combination of the best pressure, PSI, and the best setting of the air bleed valve. So you adjust this by pulling out the, uh, the knob. It will lock in and it will, you have to use two hands to do this, pull out. You turn this with the air pressure on and you will see the needle move. We want you to set it to 40, 40 PSI. The valve here, the air bleed valve, is a quarter turn valve. When the knob is up parallel to the body of the valve, it is open. When you turn it 90 degrees, it is closed. So we want you to begin with this all the way closed, this at 40 PSI, and then we want you to step on the air, um, the foot valve, to begin the flow of air. As you do that, air will be flowing down through the valve, through here, and you should begin to see it pick media up. But this is where the adjustment comes in. 
we want you to slowly, and by slowly I mean slowly, like this. We want you to slowly open the valve from full closed, which is at 90 degrees, to full open, which is parallel to the body of the air bleed valve. Again, you have to do this with your foot holding the valve open, the foot valve open. So again, set this for 40, push down, start with this closed, and open it very slowly. And what you're going to see is media moving through the media tube, and this is clear, it's reinforced with some um, fabric, but you can see the media move through it. And you're going to get a sense of what is probably the best position for this valve. You're looking for the maximum flow of media. All right, 40 PSI, start with this completely closed, open it slowly, watch what's going on here. Now, that low pressure may or may not work for you. And as I said, the sweet spot is between 40 PSI generally and 65 PSI generally. So to, to make the next adjustment to see what is the best combination of PSI and valve position for you, we want you to go back in and change the pressure, increasing it by 5 pounds. So now you're at 45 pounds and you're going to start and do the exact same thing all over again. You're going to push down on the valve with your foot. Right? There's a pretty strong return spring in there, so I'm having to lean on it with my hand here. And you're going to slowly open this valve from completely closed to completely open, watching the flow of media into the gun. And you're going to get a sense of whether what you just went through at 45 was better than 40 or not as good at, at 40 and you're going to get a sense of where the position of this valve is best in terms of maximizing your media flow. Now we're going to repeat this. You're going to turn up the pressure 5 pounds and you're going to go now from 45 to 50. You're going to start with this valve closed. You're going to push the foot valve and you're going to do the exact same thing over again. You're going to very slowly open the air bleed valve, which is allowing air into the body of the metering valve, and you're going to watch for the flow of media. So you're getting a sense of what we're doing here. You're going to go back and do this at 55. You're going to do this again at 60, and again you're going to do this at 65. You've basically done this exact same procedure six times at six different pressures. What you're determining is what is the best PSI and what is the best degree of relative open and closed of this air bleed valve. Once you've determined which was best, let's say it was best at 55 pounds with the valve two-thirds open, you can simply go back, readjust this to 55 pounds, set this at two-thirds open, and you are dialed in. You never need to touch this again unless you change uh, media to a very, very different kind of media, or you make some other significant change to the system, like changing out the size of your orifice, which generally you would only do if you change the size of your compressor. So guys, I hope that this, uh, this brief video has been helpful to you in terms of how you adjust your metering valve and get the right relationship between pressure and air inlet air volume. As always, for all of your uh, uh, upgrade parts and full upgrade kits needs, please visit our website at www.partswasherupgradekit.com. We hope that you will subscribe to our channel. We will continuously be adding additional instructional videos to support all of our products and upgrade kits. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.